Hey guys! As you can see, my fairy coat is back, indicating that it is getting colder in London. Today's video is part two of Weird Things About Germany and the Germans. And just a disclaimer before I start. <laughs> the, la the number one, the part one video. Um, I feel like a lot of new people found that video and it's so funny because I think the best kinds of comments I got on that video were like what are you care? You're not even German. Oh my god, you should need to, you need to go to Germany more than once to make up your mind. Oh my god, you don't know nothing about Germany. I mean, how do you dare make a video like that? Germans aren't weird at all. We're totally normal. <laughs> and guys, I thought I thought we went over this. I thought I thought we we went past this and let it all behind. I'm actually not German. Apparently we didn't. And again, these videos are not meant to be offensive and if you're taking offense, then that just kind of proves how German you really are in my mind. <laughs> People arguing with me about the correct translation of burned the bread or if it should be burned the loaf of bread because apparently bread is not countable hence my translation is wrong just weird that the people who did the wikipedia article thought the same thing as well as me thinking that bread in german actually also isn't countable so is the german version wrong too anyway not to get too petty now let's just get into the video and again these things Maybe not all of them are weird, especially if you're German, they're probably not weird for you, but it's just fun to point out differences that could be seen as kind of odd. And I'm doing these videos from a British perspective, even though I'm not British, but I am channeling my inner Brit to do this. Okay, the first thing is, in Germany, you get paid for donating blood. Not everywhere, but most places. About 20 to 30 euros, I think just to give you blood and you get free breakfast. Um, in the UK that is really not the case. I think it's illegal actually, because I think selling blood would be kind of like selling an organ. Not sure if that's true, but I definitely know that it's illegal in England to be paid to donate blood. They just want you to donate blood and be a nice person about it. I think you still get free breakfast, but you definitely don't get money. So yeah, Germans want to see the cash. I actually know quite a lot of poor people or knew quite a lot of poor people as in students who actually went to donate plasma like every week make like an extra hundred euros a month so it's kind of like a part-time job for some people which i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing i guess it's an incentive for more people to donate but at the same time money shouldn't be the reason for you to donate so i'm kind of on the fence with that one the next one is going to be it's going to come out offensive either way but you know i don't feel like it is offensive because i agree with it Germans party in turtlenecks. Um, not all of them, obviously, but just having lived in London and just having been to a lot of places in the UK, um, Germans wear cardigans in discos. They just, they just kind of look like they're going to a library, but they're partying. <laughs> well, from the German perspective, they would probably say that English or British people generally party half naked. Um, which I can see that as well, especially in London. If you go out, you might be like, whoa, guys. Um, but each to their own, again, I don't, you know, I think both is, has, you should party like you want. You know, if you want a party in a snow suit, do it. But it's just an observation I've made that Germans are a bit more, I don't want to say prude, but definitely a bit more closed up. And you see a lot of, um, young girls especially party with jumpers and kind of just more clothes that you wouldn't see British people, British girls wear so much. It's just, it, to me that's now kind of weird, but as a German five years back, I remember coming to the UK and thinking it's weird that they never wear any clothes even though it's cold outside, girls will just party without a jacket. On a side note, I also want to mention, why is it that all Germans have a Jack Wolfskin jacket? Literally every German wears Jack Wolfskin. Sometimes I'm on the tube and I just see someone in a Jack Wolfskin jacket and I'm like, German. And they usually are. They start talking and I'm like, yeah, I knew it. Jack Wolfskin. S -s -s German. And the next one, I never really noticed that this is weird because to me it's super normal, but it's Schultüten, which is like this little cone that school kids get in Germany on their first day of school that is filled with toys and like sweets and they just carry that around all day and it's just a little paper cone full of stuff and they don't do that in the UK 
and I could kind of see how it would be weird for a British person to be in Germany and just see like 100 school kids walking down the street with cones. But that's just a tradition. I don't even know why it's a tradition, but it is just a tradition. Next is probably a really big thing for British people, but uni in Germany is generally free. I don't think it's free or completely free everywhere, but in comparison to the UK, it's very, very, very cheap where it isn't free. So you'd be paying like, I don't know, 200 euros every six months for tuition or it's completely free. And the thing is, it is completely free for everyone in the EU, meaning currently the UK. So if I, as a German, came to the UK to study, I would have to pay the, what, six grand, seven grand a year for tuition here. But if a British student comes to Germany, free. But, you know, you're walking away from that, so, um, yeah. Um, the next one is that in Germany, people usually have single duvets. So if you're a couple, no cuddling under the duvet, everyone has like their own duvet, their own single duvet and that'd be really weird for British people I think, like for me it is now weird coming back to Germany and like in hotel rooms there is two separate duvets and in the UK a double bed will usually have a double duvet so that couples can share a duvet, du duvet, duvet, so hard to say sometimes and I don't know why it is that way but yeah, when I first came to the UK I thought it was weird the other way around that people shared duvets because what if you were a bit too hot or a bit too cold? It's kind of easier if you have your own duvet, but yeah. And the last one is Nikolaus, which I don't think I've talked before on this channel. Um, it's this tradition we have on December 6th. Um, on the night of December 5th, kids put their shoes out. They clean their shoes and then put them out the door. And then on the next morning, they usually find sweets or they don't find anything um, or they find, um, I don't know what you call it, like this branch. If you're a bad kid, you find a branch. And it's just like, um, everyone I tell this in the UK always calls it, um, it's like second Christmas, but it isn't really like second Christmas. It's just a tradition. It's like St. Nicholas comes to your house and kind of tells you if you've been good or bad. If you've been good, you get sweets. If you've been bad, you just get a branch. I got a branch once, not kidding. When I was about five or something, I actually got a branch. I uh, had some sweets on the branch, but still, I was traumatized for a long time. And these are some more kind of weird or less weird things about Germany. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like, subscribe if you want to, and see you next time, guys. Bye!